What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Want to close out the Madden 20 gameplay vlog. And it's interesting, you know, it even says gameplay down on the bottom. It has, the, I think, the head-to-head -head logo, but regardless, um, there wasn't any gameplay shown tonight, which a lot of people, I'm sure, will be talking about, myself included. For that matter, you know, Madden right now has a beta that I don't know anyone has. Uh, and I know a lot of people in the community. They obviously know me. I've had a lot of people from the community on my channel. I thought it's really interesting, you know, every year we at least know of one person that says, hey, I've got this. Uh, handful of years in the past I've had the beta and I've shown not obviously screenshots but access that I've had so it's really intriguing that there's a beta out that no one's aware of and at this point we went through two gameplay vlogs and although we're seeing motion capture and we're seeing assets of what's put in the game you know we're not seeing gameplay now a lot of this was pushed to the side because EA play is coming up they wanted to know what we want to see so they can provide it to community members to share but at the same time it's a little bit concerning and I know also they are doing this earlier than normal, that that information is just not being shown. Uh, as far as the gameplay tonight, really, we got talked to about improvements in gameplay. Um, kind of making things that had been broken in the past a little indifferent uh, as far as player visuals. Uh, they talked a little bit about players getting up and how they would be able to get up and move with the ball. I hope that when Clint talked about that, he was more specifically speaking to the fumble recoveries. Some of the things weren't exactly made clear. It, it's almost as if uh, let me see how can I put this politely they they do these things very haphazardly uh, which in a way is good you know I don't want it to feel scripted or forced but at the same time some of the way the information is conveyed especially with Anthony White tonight is so disjointed that it's really hard to comprehend what they're talking about because the slides aren't coming up on the screen at the same time what they're talking about isn't always in line with what's being visually shown to you creates that disconnect and then they'll often go from one portion to the other to the other. And I know it's not nerves. I mean, in Clint's case, he's talked on camera for Madden years and years and years. You know, Anthony White, okay, it's his first time. But at the same time, you know, Israel's been on the camera hundreds of times. Doesn't seem to have many problems either. It just seems to be a very unfinished kind of presentation to this. And I hate to say it this way, but when you look at something like this, that really leaves you with so many questions, uh, it kind of reflects on what we get as a game. We get a game that's very, at times, feels unfinished, unrefined, and you have to think, if this is how they're executing a vlog, then is this the same execution that's getting us poor gameplay year in and year out? I mean, to be frank, I don't care how positive you want to be about Madden. If you show two gameplay vlogs in a month and you don't actually show gameplay... That, to me, is a problem. Any game, any market, any place. There's almost no excuse for that. If you're going to label it gameplay, then you better show gameplay. Or label it something else. I mean, label it, I guess assets doesn't have the same ring, but if you're just going to show us motion capture that you've refined slightly to put in the game for throwing motions or RPOs, I don't, I don't know if that classifies to me as gameplay. But at least to EA, that's what it is classified as, and that's what they feel comfortable showing us in these vlogs. Uh, but overall, from a gameplay standpoint, the deep dive this was supposed to be, aside from the 200 RPOs, which the success of those will remain to be seen, and that is a large endeavor, let me not discredit that. You know, some of the things they talked about as far as specific players and traits and things may have a significant impact in the game, but... All of those things, ironically enough, and I spoke about this in prior videos, are things that we either have to feel for ourselves as gamers, and I don't know if showing them to us is going to really provide the same... I guess seeing a quarterback and telling him, you know, this player has this ability and that's why this successful is different from playing with a variety of players. And a lot of times, you know, Madden does have that issue with playing different players, making them feel differently. In this case, hopefully playing with different teams has the RPOs feel differently as far as how they're executed or if they're even executed at all. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this. I appreciate you checking out. I will be back very shortly with more commentary.